Hello and welcome to whatever episode this is. It's been a while, it's been three weeks and I apologise. Um, I've been outside gardening and when I say gardening I've been cutting up some uh, some branches that I trimmed off the hedge and so on and putting them in a plastic bag to get rid of later and I planted some bulbs in in some planters um, include Carl got the company of a couple of begonias and yeah I have more bulbs to plant and I have to think about what kind of uh, do you want to plant I want this year do I want tomatoes yes how many coins? I have space for four large plants, so four tomatoes, only I won't be able to eat that many tomatoes, um, and two smaller whatever. So I have options. I have the planters and the dirt and everything ready for it. I just need to, you know, actually put it there and buy the plants and it's only April. It's April 19th. It's... I haven't been to work since March 12th, I think. Yeah. I think that's that's about right. About right. That's the last time I saw my, co saw my co-workers. Except I just saw one of them because I handed her something and the thing I handed her was something for her cat and well you will I will add a small video on at the end of this to show it because it's my only finished object. I know three weeks it's my only finished object but still. So anyway I've, I'm, other than her, I've not seen any of my co-workers in person for more than a month now and it was confirmed this week that we will not be going back to work until, well the 10th of May is a Sunday, so the 11th of May at the earliest, that's the ne next deadline the government set. I am doubting will be allowed. The country is opening up more. From tomorrow you can go to the hairdressers again, you can go to all kinds of different restaurants and so on aren't open and you still need to abide by all the rules but yeah. Animal parks are opening up. Ikea is opening up. Knowing what people can be like in the shops and outside at the moment. Yeah. Our politicians have more faith in the public than I do. Let's just put it like that. And Okay, so I was going to see how Russell do stand up on the 16th of March. That's been moved to next year. On the 4th of May, I was supposed to see Harry Styles in concert with the lovely Carrie. That's been moved to March next year. I have tickets for the Formula E, the last race, July 25th in London, it's a double header so they go both the 24th and 25th, I have for the Sunday, tickets for the Sunday, I was bringing my dad, that, the area and the arena they, or hall or whatever they're using for that is currently the Nightingale been transformed into the Nightingale Hospital in London uh, with a capacity of 4,000 beds so I can't see that being 
ready to race in July. And also bearing in mind that they cancelled, well, postponed all races until the end of June. So, yeah. And then in August, I have tickets to go to Russia for holiday. If you don't know, Russia is currently, has currently locked all its borders. And currently, the uh, foreign ministry is advising against leaving the country, leaving Denmark, unless you have to, or you deem it necessary. So, can we get a restart on 2020? Is that a possibility? So yeah. It'll be, if, if we are let out on the 10th, 11th of May, or be allowed back to work, it will have been two weeks, and I miss some of my co-workers, some of them, mind you. So yeah. Now, it has been Easter. I, as you know, haven't been recording because I went to see my dad. Uh, we went on drives, stayed away from people, he only has two friends he plays with, me, well three, me, and he has one of his old buddies from when they were at engineer school together, uh, who comes by for a visit every Sunday, Sunday afternoon. And then he sees the neighbour that actually lives in front of him. It's a split parcel. Not parcel. Property. It's a split property. Um, because they bring each other breakfast. Um, breakfast rolls. He gets them on Sunday. My dad gets... Yeah, my dad gets them on Sunday. For both of them, and uh, he gets them for both of them on uh, what well, the neighbor buys them on Saturdays, and they eat together. Um, so yeah. So my dad is following the advice of of uh, the health board and the advice for kids to only have one or two playmates. He did add me into it. So we had fun. We it's it's parents. You know what's what it's like. They get on your nerves after a couple of days. My dad never shuts up. Never. Um so yeah. But we had fun. And this past week I've been working. What have I been working on? Well, after seeing you that whatever Sunday, I knit a bit on my wool and honey. I am juggling two skeins at the moment because I am alternating. And this is, this is the back. I was up here and now I'm down here. It cheats a bit because it is got a stitch in the round, so it is not as well, it is as mindless as stocking that stitch, but I pelt slower than I knit. I am not entirely too sure how long this needs to be. Um but a good while more, as you can tell. This is just under my boob, and so it's a bit further than under my boob. Um, I should try it on, but knowing that it needs a lot more work, like I probably need to finish these two skeins up for the body, 
I am a bit reluctant to try it on now, just knowing that I need to do a lot more knitting anyway, so. I am, other than tracking the progress for you, I'm also tracking how far I've knit under the arm. So I have knit currently 22 garter rows. So, 44 rows. Yeah. I fall in and out of love with this. The yarn doesn't help because it is so lovely. The colour is so lovely. And yes, there is a difference. It is hand dyed. It is by Malina, who owns this little here in Aarhus. I have been so tempted to buy yarn under the guise that, well, it's a global pandemic, so you're allowed to do things you wouldn't normally do, right? Um, but at the same time, I feel over overwhelmed and not sure what I would buy yarn for. Which is also why I'm kind of dreading having to cast on something new if I finish something. Which is so unlike me because usually I'm just like, I want to get this done. I want the finished project, I want to get this done. But right now it's like, well, if I finish it, I have to make a decision. Anyway. Wool and Honey by Andrea Mary. It's, it's a slock. It's uh, 3.25mm needles, 3.5, 3.5mm needles in garter stitch. This time in a smaller size than I previously did because you may remember that I finished the body and then ripped it all out. Is this sparking me joy to quote Marie Kondo? Not joy, but being able to knit on something that doesn't take any concentration while I wash, watch trash TV. It's not joy, it is coping. Something else that is, it's not sparking joy. I hate that term. I hate it. Something that makes me stop and go, ooh, this is so nice. Not from the feel of it, but just from the looks of it, is my only other work in progress. And um, it is the Rauma 246R-2, which looks like and this, and I'm doing the green version, only I am doing the rag ones. So this one is steeped which is fine, but it doesn't tell you where to put the steak stitches. You just, when you finish, cut down. You just cut down to wherever. Um, I don't remember if maybe you put some... No. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't want to work, colour work back and forth like they tell you to. So, I'm doing the raglan and 
It is color work. It is. I'm using the Rauma Finul, which is what they tell you to use. Um, and I'm not sure about the yarn. It is a bit rustic, but it's not scratchy. Um, it doesn't help that I am washing my hands and using disinfection and everything and not using enough uh, hand lotion. I actually bought a new hand lotion, brought it back with me to visit my dad uh, because I figured we'd be going out more so I needed to make sure I had hand lotion and my d dad has worse hands than I do so when I went back I just told him just just keep it. I can always buy a new one because he has to go into town, which he never does, to get it. Uh, this, the same kind. And he was like, he likes the smell of it. Um, for the Danish, it's just Metas uh, de It's the uh, one with Houtor. So, nothing fancy, but you know. And so I told him just keep it because it's a 10 minute walk down to the nearest shop from here. For me. He has a 15 minute drive and has to park in the middle of town. So Not a big sacrifice but I haven't been to buy a new one. So let me just see. When we last spoke I think I was down... at this marker here. I'm pretty sure it was there. So since then it has grown. It is now up here on the reached the underarm. I have ta -da, one sleeve and as you can tell it is a three quarter length sleeve. It is a full length sleeve in the pattern. I am not a fan of full length sleeves. Um, I sometimes occasionally do them and of course if I buy something and it has long sleeves. But I tend to push them up so no reason to actually knit a full length sleeve. I don't know, it might be a bit tight in the sleeve. But again this hasn't been washed so I mean, I can put it on, it doesn't, it's not like it's squeezing me, but it just goes on a bit tight. It is fine as it is, but yeah, wouldn't mind if it loosened up a bit when washed. Anyway, one sleeve, one body, well, and three rows on, well not even three full rows, two and a half rows on the second sleeve. This is knit on three millimeter needles. It is color work. It is easily memorizable. And I have, this was the only thing I brought home with me uh, over Easter or my extended Easter. So, I am both impressed and a bit, I should have done more. My dad even joked about it, he was like, oh, you haven't even finished it. You always finish things you come home with. Yeah, not when it's color work and I was only here when I came home. Okay, maybe I was a bit further, but yeah. So sleeves. The advantage to doing these sleeves is I don't have to do as many increases, I don't have to knit for as long, but it does mean that there's a lot of guesswork.
for next week I hope I have a second sleeve on but I'm not I'm not holding out on anything this here is skein number four this is the leftovers from the first sleeve because I am spit splicing so it made sense to just use it up this is skein number four and this is skein number three which is attached to the uh, body and yes my raglan stripes will be in the pink I'm not sure how I feel about that maybe I want them to be green instead I mean This is what they're going to look like. And I'm thinking... Actually, no. Maybe it's okay in the pink. I don't know. I don't know. Although I'm using the raglans from this, I'm using the numbers from the other one so I don't have this long rib down here so yeah I don't know I don't know and as I mentioned um, Nope, lost it. Yeah, as I mentioned, this is the only two projects I can show you. As I said, the cat toy will be after all of this. So, stick around. I could probably stick it in the middle, but that would take editing and... I mean, we're friends here, right? Let's just be honest. I don't want to edit this. So yeah, you will have to suffer. I'm sorry. Hey, at least it's for free. So that's all my knitting. I have been doing a bit of sewing and I've done some fabric purchasing. Now, let's start with the purchases. On Instagram, I saw that, um, what's her name, Camilla, who owns Mira Mira in town, she had made a Vixen top, this short one here, and it's a crop top, so it's, again, it's the whole, I should really sew a, some, maybe black, maybe other colours, um, high-waisted skirts to wear with this and with other things. But yeah, she made the Vixen Shift top out of this new Nani Eero and I'm pretty sure she Place the pattern widthwise because then you get this progression of come on work with me you get this progression of not a lot of dots a whole lot of dots at least that's how I'm thinking I'll do it and she did it in the blue and I love the blue but there is also this curry golden colour. Or oh, mas mustard golden colour. It reminds me of Japanese curry. Uh, my mom used to buy instant, like 
the curry paste was already in there, you just would heat it up and add some some water and whatever vegetables and, and <clears throat> meat you wanted. And it reminds me of that. You could get it in different colours. The depth of the colour showed you how hot it was. I didn't like it hot. So I ate this colour. Which wasn't the mildest, but you know. These are both destined to be Vixen tops. And I already washed the fabric, as you can see. I It's my experience that if Camilla puts something on Instagram that she made herself out of one of the more popular designers, like Nani Iro, or textile designers like Nani Iro, it goes pretty quickly. So I saw it online while I was at home with my dad and so I ordered it and because it's his name on the door I figured okay I'll I'll put his name on it um because it was coming with GLS so put his name on it and it arrived and they put it well they handed it over Distantly, of course. Um, and so my dad was like, no, his parcel. And he wasn't giving it over. He knew what was in it. Well, not what it looked like, but that it was fabric. I was like, dad, it's my fabric. I paid for it. It's like, no, his name and postal secrets means that I am not allowed to open anything with his name on it. Okay. Luckily for me, while we were out driving the same day, we came across a place which advertised new Danish potatoes. Now, this is like gold in Denmark. And so, and of course it's, it's not from uh, I feel it's or someone's backyard. It's it's from a greenhouse, but still new potatoes And they actually had some and my dad handed me his wallet and said Do you mind getting out and buying a couple of it? because we were at the roadside on Funen where I'm from roadside um, Purchases is very normal. You can buy vegetables and a lot of fruit. So much fruit at the roadside. It's just what people do. Uh, and so, including some farmers. And so I was like, okay. And he handed me his wallet and I went to look and there was a, we needed two small bags or containers of potatoes and I mean, it's fine to give me his wallet, and he did have ready money in it, but not the amount I needed. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to use mobile pay because I had my my phone on me. And so when we got home, I was like, well, it's my potatoes. I'm willing to trade you one of the containers for my parcel. And so I got it that way. <laughs> And my dad now has mobile pay because twice we've had to pay with mobile pay um, because he didn't have the exact amount of cash on him. So yeah. My dad is slowly entering the 21st century. He likes to make these roadside purchases and then Sometimes they don't even take cash, they only take mobile pay, so, yeah. Um, as I mentioned, I've been doing a bit of sewing. Now, I cut the fabric for this, sorry, 
Det er nu efter at give sand gives ind til de kamera. Hvor det mikrofon picks it up. Um, I cut all the pieces out before Easter. Or before going home for Easter. And I stopped yesterday. Oh, I only sewed, sewed on it yesterday. But I stopped when it was A, I was hungry, and B, I didn't understand the sleeve instructions. But I am sewing the Anderson blouse by Sew Over It. I have been looking at the Anderson blouse for so long. And this is a very busy fabric to use for this. But it has gatherings up here at the shoulder. And what it is, is basically it is a very open crossover body. So what it tells you to do is down here, I mean you can see where it's folded over in on itself on the front. It tells you to sew a bit of um, ribbon into the uh, bottom hem so that you can tighten it because it is very flowy and loose but the way they've styled it in the photos and the way, the way I envisioned this and again we're back to needing high-waisted skirts or tightening some of the skirts I do have um, that have become a bit loose on me for one reason or the other uh, because it will gather over the bust leaving a lot of extra flowy fabric and then with the tight skirt around it or not tight but you know with the skirt around it I think it'll be so cute the other option and I purchased this pattern already I have it printed I just haven't I mean, I'm sewing this. The other option I'm going for is that I could wear this with jeans, but in order to make sure I still want to like draw it in at the waist. And so I had seen, what's her name? So Birdie? On Instagram? She's Australian, uh, she's called Birdie. And she does so many really beautiful things. I mean, so many. And she did a style arc, a dress and belt. I'm not too sure, maybe the dress wasn't style arc, but the belt was. Sorry. Oh. Don't know what came over me. Um, the style arc belt is uh, inspired by a Japanese obi belt. The obi is uh, the belt you have in a kimono. So it's like the wide belt that goes around. It is inspired by it. So it has smaller belt pieces that you actually tie, but the, it's a large piece around. And I actually have enough of this fabric to make one. So I am going to do that and start it with that just to cinch it in and also because it is, I mean these birds, there's a little gold accent, it's black and white mainly, I could use the belt for other things like a dress or something simply because it'll go, the colours would go with other things um, and if it is successful I might actually do some more like belts to use with things um, yeah just because I don't really own belts because I think the thin belts just look a bit potato sacky on me but with a bit more heft it might look more stylized 
don't know. I did have a look at the sleeves again today and now that I've actually looked at the sleeves, gone back to the reference, I understand what they want me to do. But yeah, I haven't done it yet. I'm not even sure I'm going to do it today. Um, just because I have all the spare time in the world. No need to cram everything into the weekends, so. I am more likely to eat some, well, eat the rest of my lunch, uh, brunch, really, and play a bit of Animal Crossing, watch some trash TV, and maybe finish the cough of my, uh, um, of my sleeve. The cough. I don't think I mentioned it's knit on 2.5 millimeter needles. Um, so yeah, everything is slow going. But the fact that I am already looking at, I'm sure I can't find it now. Hmm. I'm already looking at this thinking, this will be really cute. And honestly, I should probably look at that Brackland for the neck opening. But I think this would be really cute. Not in, probably not in the red and red and pink, but like maybe in a blue and gold. Which I probably don't have, so I would have to purchase. But wouldn't it be really cute in if like the dark it's the same back here, but if the dark was blue and the light was uh, gold mustard? Just saying would be so cute. Don't know why they want this really long, um, what you might call it, um, rip. But I do like that it's a contrast rip down here. I mean, if I'm already planning the next one, this one can't be too bad, right? Right? <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Okay, so I am recording this because the new owner of this fish, um, a little cat named Ariel, uh, she might be coming by to pick this up um, before I get a chance to record. So, this is, uh, well in Danish it's Tumle, but I think in the English version he's called Flounders. And he doesn't have any eyes on because, well, he's going to a cat and she's a chewer, so. Oh, and this is also my ironing board set up. With my um, sewing machine over there, we are at my dining table. And um, yeah. So, this took all of, I think, 12 grams of, um, or something like that, of navy du, um in a yellow and a blue. I followed a not very good pattern, uh, which is on Ravelry. You can see it linked in my um, Ravelry page. Uh, I always forget to mention I am Bungardf, B U N D G W A R D F, on Ravelry and everywhere else. Um, and yeah, this came about because I 
knit a death star that I never showed you for um, a little cat called Vader because when you're called Vader you need a death star and it's basically the same shape only it has a flat disc and so on um, and the owner of Ariel is someone I work with and we're in the same chat group and she saw the photo which I think I also posted on my Instagram of the Death Star with Vader and yeah then this came about and it, it's bigger than I thought it would be but not as big as I feared it would be. It's knit on a 2.5 millimeter needle and I found this bag. I save bags because environment and all of that. I don't usually save this smaller bag but apparently I did and now Flanders has somewhere to travel or something to travel in. Would I recommend the pattern? No. Is it Dawn cute? Absolutely. And I will have to report back on whether Ariel likes it or not. So yeah, there's no seaming involved, I should say. It is all knit on. I don't know how the fins will fare with her being a cat and everything, but um, yeah, we shall see. We shall see.